In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Divi Builder map module. What this module does, it allows you to add Google Maps to your page and custom pins um, really easily. So here's an example of a bunch of maps I've added to the page in various columns, and they're going to automatically adjust their size and center on the pin um, no matter what column uh, width you put it in. And you can also add it to full width sections as well. So here's a full width section and a full width map module added to it. So a common application for using this map module would be, for example, to add a map on your contact page or your About Us page. You might have a contact form along with you know, information about your business, along with your location. And if you're a um, local business, you probably want to make it as, as easy as possible for people to find you. And uh, Google Maps is the perfect way to do that. So here we have a very basic uh, About Us page. It has information about our company. Uh, contact form, and at the top here, I'd like to add a map. So I'm going to edit the page, and I'm going to add a new row at the top here. So I want it to be big, so I'm just going to make it a single column. I'm going to move the row above our current row, and then I'm going to click the Insert Modules button and locate the Map Module, which is right here. And once you click the Map Module, you'll be greeted with the Map Module settings. As with any Divi Builder module, these settings are separated into three tabs, General Settings, Advanced Design Settings, and Custom CSS. As a general rule of thumb, everything you need to create an awesome page using the Divi Builder can be found inside the General Settings, but if you want even more control over the appearance of your module, then you could venture into the Advanced Design Settings and Custom CSS. Typically in the Advanced Design Settings, there are quite a few options to adjust the appearance of the module, but in this case, the map module um, doesn't really have much um, that can be edited since it's really all controlled by Google. So um, we just have one setting here, which is to enable a grayscale filter, which will turn your map gray, which is pretty cool. Um, but typically, there's a lot of options in here um, for other modules. And if you're CSS savvy, you can um, add custom CSS directly to the module as well. For example, maybe you want to add a border or something like that. If you know CSS, that um, only takes a couple seconds. So I'm going back to the General Settings tab. The first thing you're going to want to do for your map is enter a uh, map center address. So typically just, you know, wherever, you know, whatever city you're in, um, maybe you want to add that. So I could just put San Francisco here and then click Find. And Google Maps should be able to locate that just with the city name. So here we go, centered on San Francisco. And now I want to add a new pin to the map, which would be, you know, my store location. Um, and you can give a title to the pin as well. So I'll put store location. And you want to you want to en enter your actual address, um, probably, or you can also enter a general location. So maybe I could just put you know Union Square, San Francisco, and find, and it'll find it automatically, which is great. So here it drops right in the middle of Union Square. You know maybe I'm a food truck or something. I'm just moving around the square. I just want to know. I want to let people know I'm in that general area, and. Um, you can also add content to the module, which will affect um, when you hover or click on the pin. So if you want to add some more information about that location, you can do so here. OK, so after you've added your pin, you can save. And you can add multiple pins as well. So if you want to add, you know, if you have multiple locations, feel free to add multiple pins. And here you can, here you can see our pin's been added. Our map has been centered on San Francisco. And our pin's been placed um, here in Union Square. Now moving down, there's also a couple options. First, you can enable or disable mouse wheel zoom. So sometimes when you're scrolling down the page, for example, I'll scroll down the page here with the mouse wheel, you can get stuck on it. Um, and it's kind of like not the best experience. Um, and using the mouse wheel is quite common. So I typically disable this, especially when using the full width map module or when using a module in a single column because it extends typically the full width of the content. So no matter what you're going to, if you're using the mouse wheel, you're going you're gonna to get caught in that. So I'm going to disable the mouse wheel. And then we have our admin label, CSS ID, and CSS class, which we won't be using in this tutorial. Now, at any time when you're configuring a module, you can get a quick preview of that module by clicking the preview icon. And that's going to render the module um, in the current section. And you can also um, toggle between our advanced, uh, sorry, our um, responsive design testing tabs to get a look about um, how that module responds to different screen sizes. And so it's quite handy, especially when you're you know, making a lot of little tweaks. You can kind of bounce back and forth between that uh, preview tab. 
So things are looking pretty good. I'm gonna save and exit and update the page and we'll take a look at that map on the front end. So viewing our page now, our map has been added to the top here and um, I can scroll freely, freely with a mouse wheel without getting stuck. And below the map, we have our contact page and additional info about our business. And like I said, the map module can also be used in a full width section. So just to show you what that's like, if I want to create a different effect where this map extends the full width of the page, well, I can do that as well. I can add a new uh, full width section. I'm going to delete our old row here. Then I'm going to add a new map. Look for the uh, full width map module. Um, we can add a new pin just like before. And I'm going to save and exit. And we'll take a look at that page again. And this time you'll see that the map extends the full width of the page here, which is a pretty cool effect. Um, so yeah, you can use the map module either in a standard section or a full width section. And uh, that's a basic overview of the Divi Builder map module.